I'll never forget, these guys pay $12,000 each to sit in that chair. Oh. Bruh. $12,000. I got very upset watching the video we're about to watch together. Actually angry. I might start just shouting. It's a pitch. It's a pitch. This is arguably the worst advice I've ever seen given to young entrepreneurs. Anybody thinking about their finances. And that's saying a lot because I've seen and shown a lot of trash advice on this channel. And it was given actually by Grant Cardone of all people, someone who I've been on the fence for uh, for a while. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been on the fence about it, but I'm gonna just say it here. Grant Cardone, fake guru, dude. Anyway, this is his video. Undercover billionaire talks about billionaires. The thumbnail says everyone can become a billionaire. <laughs> Now let that soak in for a second. But let me tell you my realization before we get into anything else. There's a breed of fake entrepreneurs on the internet, much like there's a breed of fake fighting, the WWE, you may know it as. Now we've all seen WWE before and sure, it's entertaining. But you'd never go to this guy to learn how to fight, right? Hopefully. But this brand of entrepreneurs online are, are saying that they're basically, they're teaching real entrepreneurship with these videos. And the tough thing to sort out is that much like, you know, some of these, these uh, WWE guys, they might be actually legitimately jacked, like, right? Like they're actually ripped, but the thing they're actually doing is just entertainment, it's not real. In the same way, you can have people like Grant Cardone who actually are rich people, but in actual fact, the advice they're giving is fake. This is not how you become rich. And they're doing it as a sort of multimedia entertainment experience. And it makes me so upset because unlike the WWE, which is mostly a harmless show, there's real problems with telling entrepreneurs that this is how you become rich, right? Because you're at risk of people actually believing you. You're at risk of people taking you up on your offer. So let's listen to this together with that preamble out of the way. Okay. There's 11,000 people that are interested in changing their financial condition. There's so a much money. money on this planet, folks. You have to keep remembering. You surround yourself with people that are telling you the truth. Okay. Your first lesson. Surround yourself with people telling the truth. What's the truth, Grant? That everybody on this stream could be a billionaire. Okay. First uh, red flag. How many billionaires are there in the entire world? According to Forbes, uh, 2,095. Now, on Grant Cardone's stream, there's 11,000. So, already, he's wrong. But, fine. I guess he's just trying to be inspirational, whatever. Maybe he means it like, you can, but most people won't, right? Let's listen on. I don't know if you have the right mindset. You probably don't have the right customers yet. It sounds like a Sarah McLaughlin commercial, honestly. Like, give a puppy a dollar. At the end of the line. Elon Musk was not a baller his whole life you're the asset you are the one that is going to climb the wealth mountain okay sorry uh to come back here uh you know real entrepreneurs they talk about products they talk about market conditions grant cardone just said the words and i kid you not you are the one that is going to climb the wealth mountain now try to explain to me how that's not this. This sounds like something they'd say in the WWE. That's not real. They're doing it for a show for your personal entertainment. If they told you that, that'd be fine. But again, let, let's talk. He goes, yeah, Elon Musk wasn't always a baller. But wasn't he though? I mean, he dual majored in economics and physics, was gonna go get his PhD, but then dropped out from Stanford in order to go start Zip2, then he did PayPal, all this stuff. He pretty quickly was a baller. This idea that these guys were losers, but then they heard some famous seminar speaker and they bootstrapped themselves up to go be the, the billionaires they are today. It's fake. It, it, it's not really how the world works. And the problem is, is not just, oh, you're kind of giving dumb advice. That's not the problem. That's not what I have a problem with. There's a lot of people giving dumb advice that we never talk about because they don't charge a dollar. But Grant Cardone is different. Now listen. Who, who here has made a decision to, to get to the top of the pinnacle? Again, what is that? Who has made the decision to get to the top of the pinnacle? What does that have to do with success? Here's the deal about the decision, folks. You need to make the decision and then keep remaking the decision. You got Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff. I can't with this music. 
He really is though. He, he's like one of these, he's like a motivational speaker. He's not even giving entrepreneurship advice. How are you gonna say, oh, everyone can be a billionaire and then you give the most milk toast, like hoorah, everybody can do it speech. This is pathetic. You got Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, Jay-Z and Elon Musk. They all know each other. They've all touched each other. They all hang with each other. No, they don't, dude. Who, what was that list? Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, Jay-Z, and Elon Musk do not hang out. Newsflash. Yeah, they, they run in the same billionaire circle. But it's not like, hey, I'm going to Jay-Z's house. Bill Gates just drops by Jay-Z's house. They do that for press. It's like, it's like believing that Grant Cardone loves and goes and hangs out with uh, Jordan Belfort and Ty Lopez all the time. No, they don't hang out. They just do their own thing. Uh, and this is going to get worse in a second here. This is what really disgusts me here. Watch this. Collaborate with power, and then you want to write this down. Pay to play. Pay to play. Interesting. Now we're getting somewhere. Because remember, who do you think he's telling you to pay to play? Pay. What, what does he mean by that? Please elaborate, Grant. I had been told this most of my life. I did not trust it. I was skeptical. <laughs> then I saw how much money it could make me. The easiest way. To collaborate with power is to buy a seat at the table. <laughs> Where can we buy a seat from, Grant? Please help us. These guys over here, I don't know if you guys can pan over here. Can they see these guys? Look at these guys. Look at these guys. These guys are spending three days with me. This might as well be an idiot panel. I mean, I'm sorry to you if you spent three days with Grant. Why? Why would you do that? I'll never forget. These guys pay $12,000 each to sit in that chair. Oh. $12,000. And he's going, yeah, pay, pay to play. This is terrible advice. These guys, they're playing a game to get your money, to extract wealth from you. And it's all, the narrative is you've got to pay for an, a mentor and then surprise, surprise, they're the mentor that wants to help you out, right? This is not how entrepreneurs like Elon Musk got started. Do you think Elon Musk paid someone $12,000 to mentor him at some business three-day seminar? No! I look over there, I'm like, man, they're crazy. Yeah, crazy. they are. Three days, I got to look at their ugly faces. <laughs> okay? The reality is, I don't know if they're crazy or not. No, I know this, to get to the top of that. No, they're, they're doing what you told them to do. You said in one of your other speeches, oh, pay to play or something to that extent. Then they unfortunately listen to you spit twelve thousand dollars they could have used for their business and what are they getting out of it another sales pitch from grant cardone guys grant cardone is a fake guru like again i was on the fence about him for a while you guys know that if you follow my channel because you know what he is a good salesman that's true but at the end of the day what is what is the advice he's giving it's just all of this this is the grant cardone show but for entrepreneurs you're gonna have to do some crazy sh to stay where you are, you will have to do some crazy. Are you guys following this logic? It's the most transparent cash grab I've ever seen from one of these guys. Hey, you want to be a billionaire? You can be. So he sells you the dream. Don't be a loser. He sells you the dream. You need to collaborate with power. But of course he knows you don't have anyone powerful to collaborate with. So the easiest way to collaborate with power, now he's providing you the solution, is to pay to play. Coincidentally, look at these suckers. Pay $12,000 over here, line right up. And then he goes, yeah, they're crazy, but are they crazy enough? <laughs> Do you guys see how manipulative this is? Listen to me. To get to the top, you will have to do something crazy. To stay be, where you are. What could it be? You will be forced to do something crazy. Y'all see what I'm mad? I got furious watching this. Oh, look at that. He goes, you're going to have to do something crazy. And then he goes, reserve your seat now. 10X Growth Con. It's a pitch. It's a pitch. His whole thing is undercover billionaire talks about billionaires. Guys, it's just a pitch to make him richer. Does anybody get this? Does anybody understand? Does anybody see what I'm seeing? Listen. I don't care if you watch Grant Cardone. I, God bless you. Go go have some fun. It's entertainment. And occasionally, man's got a point. You know, you can only say so many aphorisms like, uh, you know, early to bed, early to rise, before you're kind of tr right. I mean, a little bit, right? But this is, you're not going to watch this and become an entrepreneur. Please. What I like about the WWE is they're open about it now. They go, yeah, it's entertainment. They call it sports entertainment because it's not real fighting, right? If Grant Cardone were to come out tomorrow and go, hey, guys, 
Duh, you're not going to become a billionaire by doing a three-day wealth summit or whatever, or 10x growth con, 10x, 10x. If he did that, I'd have no problem. I wouldn't be here shouting to the void, right? But instead, you're going to do it to me, Grant. You're going to go, oh, I believe in you. I believe anyone can be a billionaire. No, you know they can't be a billionaire, Grant. You're lying. You know it's actually factually impossible, actually. 11,000 people aren't going to become a billionaire. Really pisses me off uh, that this kind of crap is going around. And then let's, it's just, it's like people don't know, right? Because you look at the sentiment under this video, and I hate to do this, but look at this. 1,700 people like this post. And then all the comments are positive. Everyone can become a billionaire. No, they can't. If you have the right group of friends, no, they can't. Great motivation, nope. Great mindset, nope. That's not how you become a billionaire. The reason Jeff Bezos is a billionaire is not because of his mindset. The reason Jeff Bezos is a billionaire is he was a smart guy with a lot of things going for him. He went to top tier schools, then he took a gigantic risk and it paid off. It's, it blows my mind how these people have hoodwinked so many people into, into thinking they and Jeff Bezos, they're like the same people. And I know you guys aren't going to want to hear this, right? I know you're not going to want to hear this. You're going to be like, Grant Cardone also has real estate. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. But at the end of the day, what's he teaching? What's he, he's teaching this. So that's all. Uh, I'm going to call him what he is, right? If you go, you become part of the WWE, you're fake fighting. That's what you do. If you sell 10x growth con tickets by saying, do something crazy and pay me $12,000, this is what you're doing. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you I hope you enjoyed. Sorry, I got a little heated during this one. I can't stand these people. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's enough is enough. If they weren't taking money from broke people, look, how many people do you think in that room spent money they could have been spending on their business to listen to this guy? All right, guys, I think I made my point like 10 times. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. I know what you mean. This ain't what it seems. Nothing but a trick trying to sell me on a dream. But that was where you lost me. Smell the coffee